one Andy here at Maltech. Uh, today we're going to be cutting some 250R cases. We're boring them out for a 350 power valve setup. Uh, this customer wants this done for later on. We didn't have a jig in stock um, or in house to cut this, so we ended up making one. And I'm going to show you what we had to do. Here is our uh, jig plate that we made, and it's on our rotary table, and it's on our milling machine, a Bridgeport mill, and we've got this rotary table set up, we had to make sure that this was perfectly centered, these cases, over top the rotary table. So what we did, we put these cases and laid them down in our milling vise and clamped everything down to the table, and we indicated off of this portion here, and that way we knew we were running perfect in the Y axis, which is this direction here. Well then we're able to center off of our bearing hole and set a zero point and we moved over and found zero of this hole down here which is one of our motor mount holes, motor mount bolt holes and then we knew our X and Y coordinates for this. So then we were able to cut these plates out and we ended up, we've got this extra holes here we can flip this case over if we want to if we got to do some repairs on a case and we milled this bottom plate this is all aluminum uh, we milled it out perfect width between the outside to outside on these case halves well then we machine this pin and this pin just is a slip fit perfect slip fit through here we can now take this and we know our milling machine is perfectly level. So now we can take and level our, our milling machine, or our cases, because we know the milling machine is level. We can see that here in both directions. Then we indicated front to back and side to side just to double check us um, that we were centered on our cases, which we were. And now we can start milling, because if you aren't perfectly centered over this milling table, this rotary table, then we can't have a perfect circle. You're going to cut more on one side than what the other is. So I'm getting ready to make our last pass for this. Uh, I'm going to be doing this one-handed because I haven't got a good GoPro mount made up yet. And we're going to see how this goes. Uh, I've got everything dialed in. We're moving actually on the X axis, which is over here, in order to dial in, and we got 34 thousandths to cut, which is half the distance what we need. So.
0.350 is what we're needing to be. Stare it um, inside telescope engages. I really like these. Took about thirty five thousandths that time, but that's on each side too. So. And we're right on our money, so 3.350.